So, yes, this is my makeup look. I did this for my birthday, so I just kind of wanted to film it. I did film, I did film it while I was doing it, but it was just not good. It wasn't focused at all. I was just, I was not in my environment. So, I decided to remake my birthday look and film it for you guys. And this is essentially the look. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. I'm going in with my moisturizer just to get this ash off my face and just revive my life together because I was looking a little ashy. Now I'm going in with my Becca primer just to matte my face up because I wanted my makeup to last long not sweat off and that's my favorite primer also i while i was in california i went to the morphe store and i got me this new brush which i'm obsessed with i'll link down what the name is but it's this buffing foundation brush and honestly it makes me look super airbrushed it makes my foundation finish flawless like i recommend everyone get this brush it is the best brush i've possibly ever used as a foundation brush and i've honestly been using um a sponge lately but i love that instead now i'm going in with my anastasia beverly hills dip brow in the color dark brown per use and i'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit i normally i've been using the pencil but i decided to use the dip brow I used the pencil for about a week and then I went back to the dip brow because I just wanted darker brows for this makeup look. I tend to want darker brows when I'm doing eyeshadow looks because normally I tend to just go out with lashes and I'm done for the day. I don't really put eyeshadow too much every day but when I do wear eyeshadow and crazy eye makeup or um, certain makeup looks I tend to like darker brows and that's when I go for my dip brow instead of my pencil so I'm just filling in my brows lightly well not super lightly because they're a little darker than <laughs> natural looking brows but I'm just going in filling them in making sure they look pretty presentable pretty 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 presentable I'm just going in with my LA Pro Concealer, cleaning up my brows a little bit, you know, getting them snatched and laid and making sure they look like I just got them done. So yes. And now I'm officially starting my eye look and I'm going in with another Morphe, Morphe brush that I recently bought. And um, I'm using the color Crenshaw by ColourPop K-Pop Collection as this crease color almost. And I'm just blending that all out, just blending it, making sure it's a little smoother. And then for the outer corner, I am going in with um, my, I believe the color is called Punk. And it's in the palette, the Urban Decay palette with Gwen Stefani collab. And I'm just blending that out in the um, outer corner. I honestly didn't use this color for my birthday look because I used one of my friend's colors, um, eyeshadow colors that she had. It was a deeper, darker brown, but that was the color that I was around, and I just decided to go with it. And it's pretty similar to like the look, so it's just off by a little color. And that didn't show up, because I didn't realize that it was out of focus, but I'm going in with Millionaire by ColourPop. And it's this ultra metallic, beautiful, beautiful, like, it is such a gorgeous color. Like, look, guys. Like, look at how 
blinged out and how pigmented that is like it is not a loose glitter it is not something that like i have to put glitter adhesive on for it to just stick and be there like it is there and ready to go like it is so beautiful i'm obsessed with millionaire so right now i'm just blending out the colors and i'm just gonna go ahead and line my line my lid doing a small wing liner i didn't really do a dramatic wing liner when i did the look because i'm honestly again like from my past videos you guys should know i'm not really a fan of a huge wing liner because i have a little bit of a hooded um, eyelid so it just does not look right to me when i do a crazy dramatic you know wing liner because it just covered it is just covered now i'm just going in with my mascara my lash domination i believe this is by benefit if i'm not mistaken um i might be mistaken but <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and mascara my lies my lashes my lies my lashes whatever you want to whatever you want to name that and again with another Morphe brush because I totally did an amazing Morphe haul while I was in LA. I went to the official Morphe brush store and I bought a bunch of brushes. And right now I'm using this um, small buffing brush and it's basically like a smaller version of that face brushing buffing brush that I bought. And it's just perfect for concealer like buffing out the concealer and buffing out like small areas of imperfections or anything like that and that's pretty much what I'm doing I'm highlighting under my eye and setting that all in I did use my concealer my Mac Pro con Pro Longwear concealer and since that tends to just dry really quickly I ended up setting my under eye as soon as I applied the concealer because I just didn't want to wait and have it possibly crease or flake on me like I'm telling you Pro Longwear is super dry it it just it's crazy how fast it dries so I tend to work really quickly with it and set it as quick as possible and now I'm just obviously highlighting the highest points of my face and you know my nose my forehead my cupid's bow the huge the huge and the huge nothing has changed i highlight the same areas and i set it in with the same powder all the time i love my face routine this is my face routine and i'm actually going in with a different color um la pro contouring color um i believe this is in the color toast normally in my other videos i go in with the color espresso but i found that espresso was a little just super warm and i kind of wanted to try out a cooler tone um contouring color because i felt like that's more of a shadow that's more of a natural look of a contour so i'm starting to use toast and I like it I just I'm I feel like I'm in that like weird combination of colors where I'm not super cool or I'm not super um, warm in tone so sometimes I tend to like a warmer um, I tend to like a warmer contouring color because I just feel like certain like foundations I tend to look a little too cool to like ashy almost and I like to just warm up my face a whole lot more because I don't want to look too you know washed out so right now I am going in with my Too Faced um, bronzer in the color medium deep per use per use per use the use always going on and I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose again i don't really like slimming down my nose i just like to highlight and you know accentuate the bridge of my nose essentially ain't no smaller nose over here we don't need any we don't need any of that we love our noses we love what god gave us we just want to enhance them a little bit and now I'm going in with my warmer bronzing color. This is my Makeup Forever. And I believe it's the caramel color. I use this color all the time. It just warms me up perfectly. It's that perfect warm brown. And I'm going in with my Shady Shaney blush palette. 
and I'm just brushing the apples on my cheek and lord guys I am almost done with my Becca highlighter my trio palette it's so freaking beautiful I'm almost done I'm hitting pan like crazy but it gives me the best highlight I love it all the time like I use other highlighters and I just end up going back to it it's so beautiful I'm just highlighting my cheeks look at that highlight guys can we admire that highlight though like the highlight was popping af so yeah guys it was popping 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 <laughs> so yes i'm going in and i'm using another morphe brush which i'm obsessed with gives me the perfect highlight now i'm lining my lips with just a regular brown um lip pencil honestly didn't it didn't have a name or a number or anything so i'm sorry guys but it is by morphe again um yeah so i'm lining my lips this again was not the color i did uh use trap uh liquid lipstick by ColourPop. that wasn't the lipstick that i used for my birthday look i ended up using um a friend's lipstick again but since i didn't have it i just ended up using trap today and now I'm setting all that in with Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. And I'm popping on my wig. The wig that I wore for my birthday. I wore my beautiful Evelyn pink hair wig. And I'm just, you know, fixing that part up. Which I didn't have to do that much. But, you know, I wanted to make it a little better for the video. So I just put a little bit of concealer and brushing that baby out and that is the look guys i hope you enjoy hope you rate comment and subscribe and see you all in my next video i hope you love this look because i loved it <laughs>